Hello you filthy savages, it's your ferocious host with the most likely to be the savage and I'm back with another reaction video. Today I will be reacting to F is for Family Season 4 Episode 9, Land Ho. Let's jump right in. Everything Gucci, yep. Damn! They got a nest in the middle of his fucking head, I love it. Thanks for taking me on this trip, Bob. I promise, after these training sessions, there won't be any more problems with that x-ray doohickey. That's splendid, Red. I just hope that teacher knows the difference between giving lessons and giving orders. Because I don't like being pushed around. Don't like it one bit. Oh, Christ, are you going to talk the whole flight? Only till the quaaludes kick in. This trip's going to be great. <laughs> okay, uh, what the fuck is that movie? Thanks for uh, me come Wolf of on. Wall Street. Things at home are a fucking nightmare. This Sunday, celebrate the mellow West Coast sounds of the new Queens 109.5 at the sunniest, that is the stupidest name. The fall. Queens Toberfest. Get your citrus on. Try something called an avocado. I feel like he's gonna, at the last minute, easy fuck Vic over and sunset. sing the original song. And his girlfriend is gonna be there some way, somehow, and that's gonna be her. That's gonna be his, um. He's offering of love. Ever. <laughs> well, not forever, Kevin. Wow, well, longer than I've been alive. Hey, man, I only got 15 years on you. Tell you something, it goes like that. Now, we got a lot of work ahead of us. Especially when you do a shit ton of coke. Change your names, work on your sound till it's breezy as shit. No pressure, but if this doesn't work out, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> That's pressure, my man. Now let's get fucking mellow. Fucking ingrate. Sucker punches me in the kitchen. Sucker punch? You told him. You saw the punch coming right at you, asshole. Thankless fuck. The guys in the kitchen just loved your story about tricking those immigrants into painting your house. Pies on us. Well, that sweet smile is the sugar in my coffee. Aw, oh, now aren't you the most darling man who ever lived? A boy. Oh, so we're not allowed to hate him, but you are? I don't hate him. Oh, I guess I got confused this morning when I heard you tell Dad, I hate you. It's just Jesus. Like people say to each other sometimes. Did he also say, I knew it was a mistake when I was walking down the aisle? Oh, why do you kids always hear what you're not supposed to hear? You have no idea what I've heard. Oh, Jesus. Seen. Oh, God. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. I've never gone through that, and I'm glad. Welcome to Invasive Industries. You are here to get FAA certified to operate the See-Through U 2000 X-ray luggage scanner. My name Jesus, is that's Aspen, a mouthful. And over the next few days, I am really going to see what you're made of. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, let's meet your classmates. Uh, you mean anybody with any way. real sense of humor? Wisconsin Dairy Air. Florida Panhandle Airlines. What is that lump on his throat? Oh, everybody. Alice, over here. It's me, Kevin. I almost didn't recognize you. You look like you're in a rum commercial. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Vic said this is the hot look the industry wants, so... <laughs> Oh, sorry I wasn't in school yesterday. Vic's been rehearsing us since Tuesday. I haven't eaten anything except a guana chow the last few days, but a I feel guana chow. Kevin, I don't know about this Vic guy. He's changing everything about you. Are you really okay with all this? Sue, I'm glad you've learned the most valuable lesson a woman can learn. We do not need men. <laughs> I guess it feels that way sometimes. No, Sue, we don't need them. Men are a biological design flaw. Oh. And when new technologies provide us with synthetic semen and robots to open fussy pickle jars, what will men have to offer us? Nothing. They will be obsolete. Welcome to 2020, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, no. They don't feel right. <laughs> I'm fucking doing this. Vic, I, well, I'm just saying that this stuff doesn't feel like Shh. me. I'm gonna cut you, cause I'll cut your fucking throat. This is show business, you little cunt. No one gives a shit how you feel. This is my last shot, and I won't let 
you fucking up. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna relax the fuck out of that crowd, proving once and for all that 30 is just the hand him the of your 20s. Just hand him the Vaseline, Kevin, because he is fucking you. Every artist has a choice to make, whether to follow their heart or listen to that desperate voice that says, sacrifice your integrity by playing songs that mean nothing to you. Well, to that voice, I say, you can do it, Kevin. He is going to fail so hard at this. Did he smoke a cigarette in the one pool? Man. I'm Maui Mike. And we are good vibe partners. I knew it. I'm Mr. Chilled Out Guy. Easy breezy sailing guy. Catamarans go cruising by. They can sing about anything you want. What about what about a dragon? Vic, you, you worthless little whore. Is that cool? Jesus Christ, man. How out of touch can you be? How out of touch do you want me to be? It's not so much the children, it's the whirling! Frank. So, hi. Um, how's home? Everybody's fine. The bed feels empty without you. I miss you too. I, 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 I don't like being away from you. The day I met you, I, it was the best day of my life. Oh, oh yeah. Is that a girl's voice? Are you having a party? No. I'm, I'm just trying to say that I, I am so lucky that I, I get to start every day with you next to me. Get it to me, Caroline. Don't you tell me what Because I asked you to call me. I want you to call me because you want to. I was thinking about it. Oh, you thought about it. Oh, and now we descend into madness. I guess you were too busy having fun with your work buddies. I'm not having fun. I'm in hell so. Why is there smoke? I mean, did you think I would miss you if I was out here having fun? You are such a fucking asshole. I am not. You're just like your father. Now that you take that back. You are exactly like him. Things got bad here and he ran off. Um, I don't think Alice wants to see me anymore. Oh, honey. I hope that's not the case. What did she say? Well... Well, she didn't say anything. She just walked away. She hung up on me in person. Well, you can't leave it like that without talking to her. When you care about somebody, you need to make an effort to work things out. Yeah, you're right. That's good advice. Why don't you do the same with Frank? It's time for my grapefruit juice. Helps the blood clot better. Ed, no offense, but could you fuck off? Okay, I mean, Christ, my, my, my whole family hates me. I have a fourth kid on the way. You want to take a bet how long it takes that little guy to turn on me? Gee, Frank, with all that going on, I'm surprised you even came to Cleveland. It's refreshing to see a man show so much enthusiasm for his employer. Oh Damn my God, I want to kill myself with him talking. Dying days. The hell are you talking about? You know, Mrs. Dunbarton is going to sell Mohican to Al Equipa. She what? Oh my goodness. You didn't know? Well, some time... My mouth moves faster than my brain. Jesus Christ, I dedicate myself to this airline? You can't even guarantee my job? I, I say, you know what? Take your fucking x-ray test yourself, Bob! Just give me a second to explain. <gasps> In 10 or 15 minutes! Oh, Jesus! Goddamn flapping skin fucking asshole. Nobody cares about me. You give and you give and you give. This is what I get back. You know something? Fuck you all. I'm doing something for Frank Murphy. Fuck are you looking at? I want to talk this out. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Oh, God. You think you're. Oh, no! <laughs> of course. Uh -huh. How do you spell? Of course, of course, of course the water breaks when they're at their worst and Frank is about to go off and do something selfish and totally for him. Oh, but that's the essence of babies, isn't it? They come exactly when you don't want them. My mother had me at 40. <laughs> you know, thank God, because I was probably an abortion waiting to happen. But anyway... 
decent episode. I didn't think I was going to like this episode with the whole premise of Frank just going off into, you know, Cleveland. Not as funny driven as the other ones. You know, we, we kind of get down and serious in this one. And I like it. And I think it's going to be even more of that in the final episode. I can't wait to see what happens with his dad. I hope, um... I hope... I wish we saw more of Kevin and old girl. But we got enough as the episodes went on. I hope he reconciles with her. I hope the baby is healthy. <sighs> Until next time, you guys, check the description box down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The Ferocious Host of the Most is signing off.